What's up out there, YouTube? Ah, oh, these fucking women. They just don't appreciate nothing nowadays. My daughter, mother. My daughter's 23. My mom's is like fucking 40, 41. I don't know. Can't keep, keep, keep. I can't even keep track of her fucking birthdays. To me, I crank. I really don't care. Texts me saying, hey, my car is smoking. My car broke down. I said, all right, um, what's wrong with it? Smells like oil burning on the outside. Okay. Can you give me a tow? Me, even though she had my daughter with her, I'm like, well, let me uh, see if I can get a tow for you. I couldn't get a tow out there where she was at because my policy is for my car and truck even though I tried to get a courtesy tow it wasn't I couldn't get it fuck it I told her hey I'm sorry I'm at work I can't I can't get a tow company to come out there to you so I told this chick don't drive your car your car's not working your car requires lots of maintenance and you're still driving it. Why? You know your car shut down on you. God damn, her ass is huge in a fucking BMW. Sorry, some Spanish chick with a big booty. So, so I said, like, look, damn, I gotta bring my truck in. I'm gonna start working on this truck. I'm gonna start working on the Beamer. So, it's like, sorry, I can't get a, I can't get you a tow truck because two of my people's is like they're out of work. Normally, I hit them up. In Queens or in Brooklyn, you know, they helped me out and I helped them out. Go and get a tow truck. She got mad at me. I'm like, the fuck you get mad at me for? Shit. You're the one driving dirty. You driving the car with no insurance in it, on it. No coverage. You need to get your shit fixed. But it's gonna cost you money. I told her, hey. I can fix your car, but you won't have your car for a week. She wanted my BMW. I was like, no, you can't have that BMW. And she's like, well, what's up with the what's up with the other car? I was like, I'm working on that car too. That car is a gift to my daughter and you can't drive it. So, so I said, all right, fuck it. Whatever. I cash out her money so her and my daughter can take a Uber going back home. No problem. Right. No problem. So she sends me a text message talking about like, I need a man who's going to take care of me and stuff. I don't know. My my other man makes a, makes six figures and stuff. I don't know why I'm depending on you. I said, like, you should have called that motherfucker. And that motherfucker making six figures, how come your car ain't working? My cars work. I work on my shit. My shit works. I like buying older cars because they're easy to work on. These newer cars of today with all that fucking computerized shit and sensors and stuff, I'm like, nah, I gotta brush myself up on it so I can actually learn it. Especially these hybrids. So, she's like, you know, my man makes six figures. I make six figures too. And what's the difference? If that motherfucker making six figures, if he makes more than me and shit, then you know, you know, you know, it's like, fuck, you make, if he makes a hundred thousand more than me, then you need to go with that motherfucker then. Why depend, why ask me to cough up money 
to give to you so you can get your fucking divorce finalized with your wife. <laughs> Go to that motherfucker. Well, I depend on me to come work on your vehicle. And all I said, hey, you got to bring it to my house. I'm not going all the way out there and work on your shit. You got to bring it to my house. Everything's in my shed. To me, I just don't give a fuck. <laughs> all right. It's like this. You try to help out during this pandemic. Try to help out your kids, kid mother or moms, whatever. And she want to do is fucking come around and fucking shit on you because you're at work. You're occupied. You're occupied at home doing some work on work around your house. You taking care of some bills. You're going through your resources and your connections just to, um, you know, making phone calls and stuff so you can, uh, you know I'm saying, push your loan payments back, back by three months or, you know, uh, your mortgage. I mean, my mortgage, shit, I put, yo, I had to pay my mortgage or my car note or my, or my, uh, my personal loan for four months. I was like, holy shit. <sighs> I needed that break so I can save up. Because fucking times is hard. So, I said, like, yo, I make six figures too. Let me see. I'll go right through this shit right now as I read on text message. I said, hey, how did it go? I'm good. To answer your question from last night, there's nothing you have to do to make us a family. It won't happen. I want a man I can depend on. You always leave me to depend on another man. Shit, then go to that motherfucker then. Don't call me. When you see me come around with an X7. Shit. Or maybe that M3 or whatever. Might buy another house. I'm looking in the market right now. Might I'm getting into buying maybe like a three a fucking duplex. I'm gonna rent that shit out. Oh, my other dude makes six figures. I always call on him. Because you're my daughter's father and wouldn't be nice if it wouldn't be nice. And I said, Well, I make six figures too. So what's the difference? The difference, that's the difference. Man got uh, in my mortgage two car notes and still make sure I'm okay. A thousand percent sure your six figures and his his is different. We never have been intimate. I have your firstborn and can't depend on you for shit. Let me know when you can come get this saw then lose my number for real this time. Boy, 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 boy. I never called this chick since I've been in the military. I never called, never answered. My man got a more, got an NY mortgage and two car notes. Bitch, I got two car notes and a truck. And my mortgage, my fucking tax is only $5,000 for my property, $5,000. See, that's what happens when bitches get mad at you. They're going to get mad to a certain point and they want to throw all this other shit at you, talking about like, you ain't shit, you ain't that, you ain't this. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's my neighbor jogging. Damn, we got some weight on his back too. You ain't shit, nigga. You ain't shit. Yada, yada, yada. Whoop, it, whoop, whoop. Whatever. Then, three, four months later, you call me up like, hey, what you doing? Can you come by and look at this for me? I'm like, hold up. A couple of months ago, you cursed me out. He said I wasn't shit. Now you talking about like, oh, you need my help? You don't need my help. I'm saying, I said, look, my daughter's 23 now. She's on her own. Only thing she needs out of me by the time she turns like 25 or 26 is my 
It's my benefits for my job, and that's it. But fuck it. The mother don't want that shit. The mother want to be established because she said her man's or whatever makes this and that, make sure he, she was good. Then how come you not living with that motherfucker then? I don't, yo, these bras will fucking press on and try and make you feel bad, and you be like, whatever. So, so what he got a house? I got a house too. <laughs> oh, he makes six figures? Okay. I make six figures too. And? Shit. I got a mortgage and two car notes. And on and on and on and on. I'm like, bitch, you don't know what I got. You know? But you're the one asking me for bread. Because you're in a bind. Because you're in limbo. You're fucked up. Try and get a divorce from your wife. Look what happens. You behind on your rent. Look what happens. And all. Shit happens. I'm going to tell that chick, like, yo, you can keep the saw. I only bought that shit for $20 out of Harbor Free. You keep the boat meter too. You can keep that. You can give a fuck about that thing. That shit. <laughs> I gave you the cheapies. What I'm about to get from fucking Harbor Freight is a battery operated fucking saw. So I can actually cut my shit instead of me using the extension cord all the time. You know? But yo, man, if you're done with a bullshit single, you know what I'm saying? You're done with your bullshit mom, baby moms, kid moms, trying to bring you down. It's all good.